What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. All right, so I wanted to do something a little bit different in today's video. We're going to be taking a look at the Presence XT Editor add-on, more specifically one function, which has to do with creating key switches for your custom instruments. So first of all, what are key switches? Well, I've got a preset loaded here. This is the cello section key switch patch of the PSO, or Personas Symphonic Orchestra, which is available in the Persona shop. So as you can see over here in the bottom section or the bottom range of the keyboard, we have this red area above these keys. And if we hover our mouse over, it gives us an indication as to these different articulations. Now the basic idea, and we can also see them directly from here. We can't select them from here. I wish we could, but we can either click them like this, or we can play them on our keyboard. So I've got a MIDI controller set up over here. If I was to play this articulation or these samples, now I can change to a different articulation with a key switch. Could use trills, or sorry, tremolo or trills. Back to the sustains, and pizzicatos again. So you get the idea. It allows you to essentially trigger a whole new set of samples, but they're happening on the same keys. But when you need a different articulation or a different performance style, you can use key switches. And essentially this makes it very, very easy with a little bit of either programming or performing this, you can switch your whole set of sample pools. So what I want to do is take a look at how we can do this when working with uh, Presence XT. So I've done a custom instrument over here. I've just grabbed essentially two octaves from one round robin group of an instrument that I've done in the past. And I've put together this really, really simple instrument. Now it's happening at a higher octave. So let me move up. I think it's four, one, two, three, four. And I wanna make sure this plays. So if we take a look at this instrument, the playable range is from C5 to C7. So we've got two octaves. Let's have a quick listen. Now, one thing that may not be evident completely right away is that if we open up the editor tab, you'll see that if we go to our layer section, I have two different layers in here. Now within each of these layers, I have a different set of samples that are loaded, but they're mapped out to the exact same keys. So I've got the same set of two octaves. If we look into the grid, layer one, this is hard to see, but you can see the names change here. And layer two, you'll see that these names actually change. Let's go back to the list view for a moment. So essentially what's happening, if we select layer two, and let's bring the gain of layer two down all the way, now we're just listening to our muted samples. So if I play these. Now the thing to point out about these samples is that these were actually performed with a muted articulation. So the person that was performing these when I was sampling, they were essentially triggering the glockspiel and then they were muting it with their hand right away. So you get a completely different sound. Now, if I take the muted layer and let's bring the gain down and let's go to the sustain layer and let's bring the gain up, this is a great thing you can do. You can adjust the global gain of your whole entire layer with one parameter down here. We get a completely different sound. So you get the idea. One has a natural sustain and it rings out. The other one is muted. So the idea is that I want to be able to play this, and if we go back to the player, you'll notice in the description over here, I've given it a name, I've given it a category and a little icon, and then I've said glockenspiel with two different articulations. What I've also done is chosen what note is going to trigger my key switches. So C4 is going to trigger the sustains, and D4 will trigger the muted articulation. Generally what happens is if it starts on C, I would just go down directly one octave underneath, and I would start it on C. If I have a lot, I might use the sharps and flats. If I only have a couple, I like to stick to the white keys to keep it nice and easy. So this is actually really, really easy to do in Presence XT. Let's open up the editor, and all we have to do now, let's bring back our gain over here, is we need to essentially start mapping these out. So I'm gonna go back to the player really quickly. C4 is going to be the sustains, and D4 is going to be muted. Let's go back into the editor. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the title. I don't want muted samples to show up and sustain samples. I just want the key switches to say muted 
and let's say sustains. So now this is going to have, uh, this is what's going to display in the GUI of Presence XT. Now from here, it's really, really easy. All we need to do is let's choose the sustains first. We just need to choose this variation option. In Presence XT, in the editor add-on, they call key switches variation. So it's a variation of sample pools that you're going to be using. And the variations, if you tie them to layers, it's very easy to do. So now that we've enabled this as a variation, I just need to give it its pitch that I want to trigger that. And if you recall, we said we are going to use C4 for the sustains. Now let's move over to layer one. Again, we want it to be a variation. And this is going to be D4. We'll click enter or return. We'll go back to the player now. Now you can see that we have C4 and D4. So now if I hit D4 on my keyboard, I've just changed the articulation to the muted. And if I click the C4, you can see it's updating over here. So what this means is that if I need my sustains, and if I want my muted, And like I said, this isn't really about messing with the attack and release. This is when you have different articulations that have been recorded, but you want them mapped out to the same pitches and you need an instrument that's playable and that gives you the flexibility. This is what key switches are really, really useful for. And it's something that's so easy to do in the Presence XT Editor add-on. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.